about the Celtic Church is that it was a lifestyle based on these communities. It wasn't just a one-time revival. It actually was a sustained way of life. And from this place, miracles happened. And from these places, the gospel was sent out and you had signs and wonders following. It was like a revival that lasted 250 years. When most people think about monks and monasteries and monasticism, we tend to think about medieval monks with funny haircuts chanting prayers. But if we look at the definition for monastic, we find that it is a movement, a way of life for a purpose. And this is what the Celtic monastic movement was. It was a lifestyle. It existed in the Hebrew scriptures. We think of Elijah and Elisha with their school of prophets. We think of John the Baptist. We think of rabbis with their disciples. And we also think of, of the Lord Jesus with his 12 disciples and how they model community. It was the presence of God that they lived for. The Celtic monks were different from Ro what we think of Roman monks. They could be married and have children. They not only copied scriptures and religious literature, they copied classical educational literature. These communities became almost like universities. This was revival that touched people's lifestyles and their lives in a way which we have not seen since. And if you can think of Patrick as someone who at that time led the foundation for this monastic movement. So it's pretty crazy because we just finished our shoot here and this small group of people came up and it turns out that they were missionaries and prayer warriors and intercessors and I got to interview them and capture their heart why they came here to Nandrum. As far as I'm concerned, this is a sacred ground. Many are sent to many nations. They have many assignments. And we walk this ground and say, God, if some of those associates of St. Patrick's didn't do the, uh, the assignment complete. I'm here. Give it to me so that I can go to the nations. Father, we just praise you for this meeting with your <laughs> servants. This was a God thing. This was not accidental. Well, we stand in a place that was pre-Catholic and pre-Protestant. Yes. And there was a faith here, Lord, that yes. Lord was so, so much purer than anything we've known. And Lord, Jesus. we call Jesus. into being yes. Lord, just that purity of faith, mm. that kingdom vision. Lord, we call it forth in your name. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Our encounter at Nendron brought up an important point. The Celts were passionate about Christian community with a purpose. They felt called by God to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. I had another encounter with a woman who is also embraced.